Good evening everyone and welcome to our weekly program message of the last days. Wherever you're watching us on TV or online, all over the world, welcome to this program. This is Brother Eli Simbano today with Apostle Alexander Mukaba. Yes, from the Ark of the Last Days. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to start our program of today. Let's pray first. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you this evening. We come before you as we are alone. Yes, we call upon the presence of the Holy yes, Spirit. Jesus. We call upon the fire of the yes, Holy Spirit. Jesus. We call upon your cloud yes, to Jesus. come and surround us. Hallelujah. Come and cover us at this place. Amen. Let your fire come and surround us Hallelujah. at this place. Yes, in the Jesus. name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. of Nazareth. We call upon your fire yes, to go Jesus. to touch every soul, yes, every Jesus. person. Yes, those Jesus. who are following us Hallelujah. in the four corners of the world. Yes, in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your word touch them. Amen. Let your word change yes, them. Jesus. Let your word transform yes, them. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Manifest yourself. Amen. In Jesus Christ. Our Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are going to talk about the power, the power and the act of the word of God. Yes. But before that, the ministry is called the Ark of the Last Days. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the vision which God has given to us. Amen. And the, the address is written there on the screen. Hallelujah. Everything is there on the screen. Yes. If you want, uh, or you want to, to contact us, you can contact us. Yes. But you contact us, you call us, please, after the program. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are speaking about the power of the word of God. Yes. Today is a program of English. Yes. Amen. And uh, Thursday, I'll be passing from uh, 3 to 4 in Swahili. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. From 3 to 4, Thursday in Swahili. Amen. And there is a program last, last Thursday was in Lingala. Yes. And there's another Amen. program which will come in Lingala. But Amen. every Saturday will be here in English. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to speak about the power and the acts of the word. Of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is power in the word of God. Amen. And the word of God have different actions in our life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And because of that, I would like Brother Eli to run a, in the book of Hebrews. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 4, chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. You read chapter uh, verse 12 only first. Hallelujah. Uh -oh. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12 to 13. Yes, please. For the word of God is living and powerful mm. and sharper than any two-edged sword, mm -hmm. piercing even to the division of soul and spirit mm. and of joints and marrow mm -hmm. and, is dis and is a discerner of thoughts and intents of the heart. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible is saying that the word of God is so powerful. Amen. It's power than, than every sword of of. Of two of two two edges. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. There's no sword yes. which is sharp like the word of God. Amen. There's nothing in this world which is powerful like the word of Amen. God. Amen. The word of God is so powerful. Yes. It's sharp more than the sword of, of, of two edges. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is saying that the word of God is able yes. to separate the fat and the and, and uh, the fat and, and the muscles. Amen. It's able to penetrate even in our bones Amen. to separate the bone marrow. Amen. When, when the word of God is saying about this, it's trying to describe the way yes. you see a human, the yes. way you see yourself, that is how your spirit is. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God can penetrate Amen. even in, in your bone marrow. Yes. That's what I always tell uh, my fellow Christians. Hallelujah. When you have a disease, yes. when you are sick, Amen. once you accept the word of God to Hallelujah. penetrate your life, to penetrate your spirit. Hallelujah. And to come and separate diseases with your flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? Because the word of God is fire. The word of God is so powerful. Amen. There's no way we can... There's nothing powerful in this world. We Amen. can compare it to the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is able to separate the bone marrow, everything, every that means everything which is hidden yes. as a as a disease, as a yes. secret. Yes. The word of God can reveal it. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible said that Thank it you. tested even the heart. It knows even the plan of the yes, heart. Jesus. It knows even what you are planning now. Hallelujah. The word of God can reveal, can detect yes. what you are planning to do in five Amen. years. Amen. Hallelujah. 
The word of God is powerful than than, than fire. Amen. It's powerful than any sword in the world. Yes, it's Jesus. powerful than anything in this world. Hallelujah. People who have uh, volcanoes in their countries, they believe that the fire of volcano is so powerful and strong. Amen. But the word of God is stronger than than volcano. Amen. When the word of God is coming, Amen. is able to consume, is yes. able to destroy, is yes. able to transform, to change. Amen. That's why I always tell people, when the word of God has come in your life, if there's no fire in you, the word of God always comes to burn, to destroy and consume every evil thing in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is where the change is coming. That is where the change will start. That is where the transformation is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Paul saw that the word of God, there's nothing powerful you have found in this world like the word of God. The word of God is so powerful than everything which Paul have experienced in the world. If you see, can you read verse 13 for us please? Verse 13 reads, mm -hmm. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, mm. but all things are naked mm -hmm. and open to the eyes to him to whom mm. he must give account. There is he nothing which is hidden to the word of God. Yes. There is nothing which can go out of the word of God. Amen. Everything, that's why Jesus was saying that everything which will be done in night will be revealed uh, in, in, in the light. Hallelujah. Will come Amen. to light. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no secret in the word of God. Amen. The word of God is able to reveal Hallelujah. everything which is hidden. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything you do in secret, Amen. one day God will expose it. Amen. That's why I always tell Hallelujah. these evil people, I yes. always tell devil worshippers, yes. I always tell witches, Amen. everything. Amen. They always operate in darkness. Hallelujah. Amen. They don't operate during the day. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because they are afraid of light. Hallelujah. Amen. But the word of God is able to discover, Amen. to detect them, and expose them. Amen. Hallelujah. There is no one met Christ and remained the same. Amen. Jesus is called the word of life. Yes. If, the, if Jesus is the word of life, yes. that means he is so powerful than everyone in this Amen. world. Amen. Hallelujah. There is no way a car can mm. be hit yes. by, by a lorry, mm -hmm. hit by a lorry, and remain the same. Amen. Jesus is more than a lorry. Amen. You cannot meet Christ and remain the same. Amen. Christ, once you meet Christ, your yes. life changes from there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I always wonder, my fellow Christians who always interpret mm. this word yes. about change. Yes. Many people understand change is about blessings. Yes. Change is about, is about prosperity. Yes. Change is about when they, 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 they have a problem, they come out of that problem. Yes. The change Jesus was talking about, Hallelujah. the change which we are talking about, yes. the change the word can bring first Amen. is the change of the life, Amen. the change of the spirit, Amen. the change of behavior, Hallelujah. the change of your ways to Amen. live, the change of your way to be. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus told the apostles, yes. he said, Follow when you want to follow me. Yes. Find first the kingdom of heaven. Amen. And the next will follow you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But today people are not following the first, they are following the next. Amen. Hallelujah. The first is the kingdom of God. Amen. The first is the word of God. Amen. The first is transformation. Hallelujah. The first is deliverance. Yes. The first Jesus. is healing. Yes. The first, Jesus. the first. The yes, next Jesus. will follow you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, many people Amen. have changed the word. They have tried to change the word all upside down. Amen. The word is powerful. Amen. Have come to transform and change. Amen. To give you the first. Amen. And the next have to follow you. Amen. The Hallelujah. next have to look of you. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The next have to locate your place. Mm. The next have to look after you. Yes. The next have to, to follow you, yes. which is prosperity, which is the wealth of this world, yes. which is blessings. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But when it comes about healing, when it comes about the things which is in the flesh, once you receive the word of God, the word of God, which is fire, it will come and consume, detect everything which is in your heart and consume and destroy everything which is in your flesh. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember in the Bible, in 2 Kings, hallelujah. Amen. I remember in 2 Kings. Amen. Where, G, where, 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 where,
Amen. They went to bury him. Hallelujah. And when he was buried, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Long years ago, yes. Many years ago. Or after he, after some some years, yes. There was someone who died in that city. Amen. And they brought that dead body of that person. Amen. And when they was running, they had like soldiers after them. Amen. What they did, they just throw that dead body yes. in the grave of Elisha. Hallelujah. The bones of Elisha Amen. was able to bring life Amen. in the life of this man. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because the word of God was still in the bones Amen. of Elisha. Amen. Once you have received the word of God, Amen. the word of God remains in your bone marrow. Hallelujah. Remains in your bones. Yes. Your bones Jesus. will have fire. Amen. In you, there will never exist in any, the mighty any kind name of disease. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So the word of God is, a, is more than medication. Yes. The word of God is more than food. Yes. The word of God is more than everything in this yes. world. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because the word of God is God himself. Amen. The word of God is Christ himself. Amen. The word of God is the only thing which can change the life of someone. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God can give you another picture. Yes. Another form. Yes. People have been calling you names. Yes. Only the word of God can come and clean your life and give you another form. Amen. Another name. Yes, Jesus. Amen. If Hallelujah. you believe in the word of God. Yes. And you wait for the time of God. Amen. When God changes things in your life. Amen. Your enemies. Amen. They'll be shattered up. Amen. They'll be ashamed. Amen. They'll be confused. Amen. Only the word of God can do this. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There is nothing powerful in this world like the word of God. Amen. It's sharp than every sword. Hallelujah. It can cut in two ways. Yes, Jesus. It cuts it to two ways. Yes, Jesus. Many people are using the word of God bad. Hallelujah. Apply the word of God first. Amen. Use the word of God for yourself first. Yes. For yes. your salvation first. Amen. Change your ways to live. Yes. Change your behavior. Amen. People used to know you in this way. Amen. Let people know you in another way. Amen. Let people see the light of the Hallelujah. word of God in your life. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are following us in the four corners of the world, yes. you haven't given your life to Christ. This is what the word of God can do for you. Amen. The word of God will change you. Yes. If you used to have a, a face like a, a, an old person, an old mm. man, when the word of God will come in your life, yes. will make you younger. Amen. I've seen there is a program on TV where there are some people, some women, they, are made, they, are, they have a program of uh, 10 years younger. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ten Amen. years younger. Yes. The word of God will give you hundred years younger. Amen. You become young more than hundred years. Amen. Hallelujah. If you, you, you read the Bible, you hear that uh, there is one man who, who lived longer in the Bible. He was called Methuselah. Hallelujah. Methuselah lived more than every, long more than everyone in the Bible. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He lived seven, more than 700, seven, 790 something years. Amen. On this earth. Yes. Noah had 760. Amen. What was making them to live longer? It was the word, the power of the word of God in their life. Amen. Makes them to give long, to, to live longer. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is fire. The word of God is food. The word of God is medication. The word of God is a solution. Amen. Once you have the knowledge of the word of God, Amen. you understand the word of God, you have a solution of everything. Amen. Go with me in Jeremiah chapter 23, yes. verse 29, please. I shall read from the book of Jeremiah chapter 23, 23 verse 29. Verse 29. Is not my word like a fire, mm -hmm. says the Lord. That is a and, question God yes. is asking to the children of Israel. Is it not my word like a fire, says the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. And like a hammer mm -hmm. that breaks the rock mm. in pieces. Hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is like fire. Amen. The word of God is hammer. Amen. Even if you're proud and arrogant. Yes. Even if you're strong in this world. Hallelujah. Once you receive the word of God. Amen. Who come and break you. Amen. Who come and humble you. Yes. Who come and destroy you. Yes. For the word of God to recreate you. Amen. To renew your life again. Hallelujah. Many Christians want to follow Christ. Yes. And they have, they have turned that follow Christ.